In this video, we will discuss creating camera cards in Flow. Before you begin, you will want to have an active Flow license from either your lab or PhotoLinks and a project set up inside of Flow with data imported in. Our first step we're going to want to do is to sort our data in the order we wish to see our camera cards in. To do this, we are going to go to our edit screen and towards the bottom of the screen, we're going to click on sort. Select the first field you wish, you wish to sort by, for example, grade. Over here to the right, we're going to change none to ascending and we're going to select the second field we wish to sort by, for example, teacher. We're then going to click sort and we'll see our data kind of shift around above us. Keep in mind that alphabetically will happen automatically after you select two sort fields. So in this example with grade teacher sort, the subjects will then align alphabetically after that. Now that we have our data sorted, creating camera cards inside of Flow is a breeze. To set up your camera cards on the subjects you have already loaded, we are going to want to create subject barcodes. To do this, click on the Reports menu, and under the drop-down under Choose a Report, we are going to select Subject Barcodes. We're then under Report Layout going to choose how many cards we want to see per page. Your options are 8, 10, and 30. You're going to want to check whether to see Show Page Footer or to have a stack sort. If you are doing 30 up labels, it is recommended that you do not have a page footer on. And I don't want to have stack sort on because I want my labels to be continuous. I'm not going to be bulk cutting my reports. Subject copies means how many cards you want to see per subject. By default, this will be one. If you want to have three cards per person, for example, in a dance studio situation, you would just change this number to three. If you want your pages to break by a specific field, for example, if you only want to see one teacher's information of students per page and not run on for another teacher, you would select teacher under page break. In my example that I'm going to show you, I want mine to run on, so I'm going to leave this blank. Pressing preview report will show you the default way of how camera cards come out. Once I show you the default, I will show you how we can then customize them a bit further. By default, the only information that will show on your cards are the subject's name, their ticket code, and their barcode, which is their ticket code information, and the organization that you had set up for this school. To add more fields to these cards, we're then going to come down here to the left and select which fields we wish to see by simply clicking on the green plus sign. For example, on my cards, I want to see their teacher, their grade, and their student ID. If you wish to group your cards rather than use page break, you are going to choose which grouping to use over here to the left. By default, it's going to be in the order that you had selected your fields. In my situation for my cards, I want my cards to run on, so I'm going to leave that blank. Clicking Preview Report again will now show you the updated information for your cards. You will then see your new selections for your cards populate. Take note that if your cards do not look like a full page on your screen, for example, they look like the size of an ID card, you are going to want to change your default printer on your computer from an ID card printer to a normal printer. This display is showing you the page size that you have set for your default printer. To print your cards, we're going to print the printer icon in the top left hand corner of our screen or press Ctrl P and choose which printer to send them to. To export your cards as a PDF, we're going to click the PDF button in the top left of our screen. And we're then going to choose which location to save our PDF and press Save. Take note that a CSV is not available for this type of report. 
Now that we have camera cards created for all of our subjects who are already loaded inside of Flow, we are now going to want to create blank camera cards for any people who show up on picture day who are not already loaded. This process is going to be very similar as it was before when we created our other camera cards. To do this, we are going to go to Reports, and under Choose a Report, we are going to select New Ticket Barcodes. Just like before, we're going to choose if we want 8, 10, or 30 per page. And we're also going to specify how many blank camera cards we wish to produce. It is recommended that you create about 10% of how many people are going to be showing up at your school. To see a page footer, leave show page footer on. If you're going to be printing these as Avery labels, it is suggested to turn this off. Pressing Preview Report will show you the default of how these camera cards will come out. By default, you will see a blank line for their name, a unique ticket code that was not used in any other previous jobs already inside of Flow, as well as a barcode using this ticket code, and the organization in which you created your job. Just like before, you can customize these a bit further by selecting which fields you wish to see on your card. For example, teacher, grade, and student ID. Pressing preview report again will show you these blank lines for these specific fields as well. Once your cards are set up the way that you're wanting them to look, you can print them straight to your printer by clicking on the print icon in the top left hand corner of your screen or by clicking control P. You can also create a PDF by clicking the PDF button and choosing where to save your barcodes. Keep in mind that CSV is not available for this type of report.